Silence is a powerful tool when utilised correctly, and surprising in how it can invoke actions despite an absence of words. An interviewer sitting silently across from a potential candidate can cause such discomfort in an individual that they are forced to speak. A silent gym can create one of the most intense atmospheres you can ever hope to train in. A silent coach can, given the right conditions, allow an individual to find willpower. I begin with my experience of my first few months at the Willpower Gymnasium. I arrived at the gym for the first time with little experience in the sport of weightlifting. No idea of what willpower entailed and completely misguided by Theo's words of Justin's really chill and no pressure to go heavy. With this in mind, upon entry, I was greeted by Justin, forthwith followed by comments of the diminutive nature of my hands and an ask to go to maximum. My performance that day was below average to say the least. However, if weight lifted was the only measure of a person's candidacy to train at willpower, it would not contain nearly the colourful variety of athletes it does today, nor possess the atmosphere that members cherish so much. Which brings me on to the title, The Sound of Silence. For this is what I experienced for several months following my initial visit. With no car in my possession and university lectures preventing evening training, I would travel to Pontypool from Cartes in Cardiff several times a week, catching the first train from Cardiff Central at around 5.15am and waiting outside the gates of the gym ready for opening at 6am. Then I would train. Train without idle chit-chat, without pleasantries, without needless discussion. To some, the idea of training without a barrage of cues from your coach may seem alien, and if I'm honest at first, I felt uncomfortable. I would constantly glance up, looking for the next cue, the next comment, which invariably would not come. I only realise now, retrospectively, that I was being taught, coached without cues, and why so many of the athletes at Willpower possess such a tenacity in their approach to training. I learnt in those mornings what it meant to train at the gym, to turn up each morning and put in work, no matter the hour, no matter how tired you felt, to train without the need for idle talk. Purpose, intent, deed. This is the commonality of willpower and something that all members demonstrate. I smile now when I see a new member getting the silent treatment, for I know what they do not know, yet I look forward to the moment of enlightenment when they too find willpower.